One of the questions that users new to Canva often have are how to use links, particularly when you're creating some sort of lead magnet or other printable. And there seems to be some confusion about how you can use them and how they work. So I thought I would walk you through that today. Now it's pretty straightforward to add a link. So this is just an example of one of my lead magnets for uh, an ultimate guide on how to plan your next website. And I'm just gonna scroll down to some text in here. Now, if I wanted to link some text, it's actually a lot easier now than it used to be. You used to have to create individual little text boxes for anything that you wanted linked, but you can actually link text now within a larger chunk of text. That makes it so much easier for formatting things, and it's a big improvement that Canva has made. So it's very simple. If I wanted to link, let's say I wanted to link this piece of text right here. I would just highlight the text that I want to link. I come up here to this link icon, and then I can enter my website address to whatever page I want to link to and I hit apply. You'll see it automatically adds an underline. You can change that by highlighting it and removing the underline. And let's say instead I wanted to make it bold and I wanted to make it another color, you can easily do that. And then when you hover over it and you highlight it again and click on link, you'll see that link there. Now, if I wanted to remove that link, I would just do as I've just done here, highlight this, delete it and hit apply and then it will remove it, which you'll see if I highlight it again and link it, it's gone now. So in that case, I would just need to undo the formatting to return it back to the way that it was. So that's fairly straightforward. But what I wanna highlight is that this will only work in a document if you download it as a PDF. So if I was to go to download and I was to choose either a PDF standard or a PDF print, you will see that that link actually works for people who open it up and click on the link. However, if I download it as a JPEG or a ping file, image files don't contain links and you're not gonna be able to preserve that link. So if you are trying to download a file as either of these formats, your links will not work. However, there is one more format that you can do this in where the links will work and that's if you save or rather if you present a document as a, an online presentation. So here's another example. This is just a simple little uh, Instagram landing page that you could link to and I'll show how to do this in another training video. But in this case, I've got text here that I've linked to particular websites. So for example, here's a link to our How to Use Canva Facebook group, which you can see like that. And in this case, if I was to go over here to present and I was to present it as a website, and let's say I presented it as a scrolling website. Now, if I open that up, this is a little website that it's created on Canva. Please note, this is not a substitute for creating an actual website. This is just a handy way of doing an online presentation, but this will never substitute for an actual website. But in this case, you'll see if I hover over these, the links actually do work. In this case, it's saying the link is not private, so I'll need to go take another look at the link that I actually used there. But let's try a different one here that does work fine, that opens my website. So in this case, the links will work if you share it as an online presentation. So in this case, I could also present it. Let's just do standard. And again, those links do work. You can see it's showing up there if I hover it over it. So I'm gonna escape. So I just want to highlight that those are the formats that you can save your Canva designs as in order to preserve those links. If you do want to save something as an image, just be aware that links will not work in that format.